So mill number five was started a little over three years ago by a man named Jim Latrulis with the intention of building a community of people who want to create something new and unique and people who value art and beauty and quality and Coffee and Cotton is sort of the beating heart in the center of it. We supply the caffeine that you know, keeps everything going, keeps everybody motivated, and a place to come and relax in between projects too. <laughs> Lowell is a city of innovation. You know, it was the heart of the Industrial Revolution, and the fact that Mill 5 and Coffee and Cotton is in one of the old mills you know, it kind of speaks to part of what our mission is, which is to provide a space for community and to give people opportunities to grow and to try new things. I was living in the area and I remember coming up here, you know, taking the janky elevator ride up and there was this potential and there was this magic happening. And just now we're finally starting to bring together all the people who really work together as a community and who really vibe together. Coffee and Cotton and Mill Number no. 5 really prides women in leadership to be able to be the general manager here and be really involved and get to be a leader here, you know, is so exciting because I really align with our mission. We've been able to foster some businesses. Actually, some of the storefronts at Mill Number no. 5 started out as, at, as vendors at the farm market to be able to bring a lot of local startup businesses here that are run by women. It is empowering me to be able to work in this environment, but I also feel empowered to support businesses run by women. That's one of the things that drew me into the mill, and it's one of the things I still love about it. You know, a lot of the people who work for us are very passionate individuals, and giving them a space to showcase their art and say, you know, some ownership of the space too, you know, and say, I work here and I made this and this is what I do, as opposed to just being someone behind the counter who pours your coffee. It makes them feel great, it lets the community get to know them and who they are, and people walk in here and they haven't seen a place like this before, and they start to go, oh, you know, I make these little things, or, you know, I would love to have my own bakery, and all of a sudden the ideas start popping off like behind their own eyes and you can sort of see it and you're like, yeah, it's possible. Like, see, look around, like anything's possible.